Bursts of gunfire caused panic in central Phnom Penh overnight as police carried out an order to clear the streets of anti-government protesters. One man was injured when he was knocked from his motorcycle. Three others have died in recent days in the clampdown on pro-democracy demonstrators. A Buddhist monk is feared to be among the victims. Democracy Square, a ramshackle camp outside Parliament, has been home to the anti-government demonstrators for two weeks. But by Tuesday, the government had run out of patience and riot police moved in with electric shock batons to disperse the pro-democracy crowd with brutal efficiency. Water cannons were turned against the crowd and the camp later destroyed. The demonstrators opposed the recent election of military strongman Hung Sen and his Cambodian People's Party. They say the poll was fraudulent and are calling for the opposition parties to restore democracy. Fearing arrest, opposition leader Sam Rainsy has sought United Nations protection. On Tuesday, he met with fellow opposition leader Prince Norodom Radarid in a bid to defuse the crisis. But resistance to the crackdown is likely to fuel political tensions in Cambodia. While the United Nations has urged the government to show restraint, it fears more violence is inevitable.